Should I go? No. This is Sharon McDonald for the Yarmouth Community Coronavirus Task Force for our students at the University of New Hampshire and at the Maine Preventive Medicine Residency. Um, I, today we wanted to go over a, one of our favorite graphics because it really goes through the details for the notion of flatten the curve. And fortunately, uh, Gib Parrish has agreed to walk us through this. You can go ahead. Okay. So this particular graphic has been prepared by a group of folks um, in the United Kingdom uh, who have a website called Our World in Data. And what this figure shows is a plot of, on the x-axis here, the number of days since the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 reached 100 in each of the countries that is uh, displayed here. So for example, this is, it took 10 days. It's 10 days since the total number of cases reached 100 for uh, one of these particular countries. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. Then on the y-axis, we have the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 this is a cumulative total, and you'll notice that this axis has a, is a logarithmic scale. So it starts with 100. This is the total of confirmed cases, 100. That's the start, because that was the start point we mentioned here. And then it goes to 1,000 and 10,000, et cetera. And um, there are also these lines that come out from the origin. This line says doubling every 10 days. So if you had, if you were moving along this line, if you were a country and you, your, your cases were moving along this line, you would be doubling the number of cases every 10 days. This line here is doubling every five days. This line here is doubling every three days. And then this over here is doubling every two days. So. Um, so what we can do is we can move our, our little cursor. I'm just going to show you, you can move it around here. And when you do that, individual countries will be highlighted. So for example, right here, we have Japan. You can see that it's at the tip of this um, sort of semi-crooked arrow here. And um, there's also over here, Whoops, actually I'll have to keep my cursor there, but to the right, there is some information about Japan that tells us that Japan basically had crossed 100 cases on February the 22nd with 105 cases. And then as of March 23rd, they had a total of 1,089 cases. And do they have to state this most every day or? Sorry, do they what? Do they update this information most every yes, day? Yes, this okay. is updated every day. And each, right. each dot that you see along this arrow here represents a day. So there's a bunch of days here for Japan. And you'll notice that Japan, interestingly, has been sitting between a doubling every 10 days and every five days for almost the entire time that it passed 100 cases. Um, it now has, as I said, 1,089 cases, but it's been staying down here. So obviously, if you go further up this way, so there's Sweden, Belgium, Netherlands, United States, Spain, and then there's China. As I was moving up there, those particular countries we're doubling the number of cases, confirmed cases of COVID-19 in shorter and shorter periods of time. In other words, fewer and fewer days it took to double the number of cases. Now, China is interesting. It's quite different than Japan. I'll go back to Japan for a second. Japan has been, it's sort of wiggled a bit, but it's a relatively flat line. You'll notice that for China here, it's a very different pattern to the line. Um, first of all, um, for China, people were not keeping count the same way. So the first day here is 1,000 
988 cases, which occurred on January the 26th. And then as of today, March 23rd, they've had 81,649 cases. But you can see that they started out um, doubling their number of cases about every two days. Then it uh, crossed, crossed the two-day line at this point. And then during this period, they were doubling the cases about every three days. And then they started, this is flattening out more and more, so that now there, in fact, are a very small number of cases um, that are, uh, the increase is very small every day. Um, and they have now moved out where they're beyond every five days or even every 10 days. In fact, you can't see it here, but they are actually doubling even less than every 10 days at this point. How about the US? The US is back over here. It's not very flat, is it? Uh, well, it's relatively, f sorry, it's, it's a line that's relatively straight. Maybe yes. that's the word <laughs> I should use. But it's not um, deviating very much from its straight course up, <clears throat> up about halfway between doubling every two days and doubling every three days. So uh, US uh, first uh, had 103 cases. In other words, that was the first time they had more than 100 cases on March 3rd. And now 20 days later, we have uh, 35,206 cases. And we are continuing to go up without much evidence, as Sharon said, of sort of the curve bending to the right or flattening out this curve in terms of reducing the um, doubling time for cases in the United States. Um, one of the things that was interesting today in the press briefings was talking about the comparison of the U.S. with South Korea, which both had their first cases on the same day. And looking at the difference, I don't know if South Korea is easy to highlight there right now. Well, I'll have to go find South Korea. Here's South Korea. It's right over here. There. You can see it's a very different shape. They've yeah. moved their, their curve quite a bit. Their initial doubling time was even faster than the U.S. Let me try to go back to the U.S. here. It's sometimes hard to find these places in all, this, all these countries. Well, you can select regions, I think. You've done yeah, that. I'll, I'll come sure. to that in just a minute. Right. Um, but South Korea started doubling more quickly, but then they have, the curve has sort of bent back to the right, um, and they are now doubling their number of cases about every five days. So yes, it's um, some actions they put into place has seemed to have had a beneficial effect in terms of reducing the doubling time. Um, and then the final thing is to show you what Sharon mentioned is that over here you can actually select by moving your cursor onto the, um, these, the continents here, it will select out countries in a given continent who have reported more than 100 cases of COVID-19. So Africa has just two, Egypt and South Africa are listed here, uh, relatively few cases still there. Asia is here and um, you can see that there's quite a bit of difference here in terms of the uh, different Asian countries in terms of when they first started with their 100 cases, and then also in the shape of, the, of their curves or their arrows here, uh, with China, Iran, South Korea making um, progress from actually having a lot of a very fast doubling time, they have actually begun to flatten out a bit. Whereas other countries such as Japan and Singapore, we already discussed Japan, they have actually always had much lower doubling times. Um, Singapore has always been below or just at about every 10 days. And Japan, as we mentioned, has been between five and 10. So you can see that, and there are other countries here too. For Europe, most of Europe is still, the curves are pretty, or the arrows are pretty steeply, uh, pretty steep. 
and fairly straight. And they sit, most of them sit between a doubling time of every three, two days and three days. Um, so for example, here's Italy. I can pick that out of here. And uh, I think Spain is here to just give a couple of examples. Um, but so they have, um, they have still work to do. The only countries that in Europe that seem to be making some progress in terms of changing the, their curve, the slope of their curves are uh, the Scandinavian countries, Norway and Finland and Sweden and Denmark. So this is a uh, great moments in graphics. We just wanted to show you one of this outbreak pandemic has been remarkable for having the kind of computing power and various things to display both the strategies as well as what's happening in terms of numbers. We'll post this um, in various places and we will also share the link so that you too can go to this page and show it to your friends because it's great.